Thanks, Lee. And thank you guys for turning in, tuning in to March Maple Madness here at VPT. You know, VPT puts so much great programming out there, and we just really appreciate everybody picking up their phone on this wonderful day and calling in, and all your generous donations have been fantastic. So we're here now with Joanne Rock from St. Albans, and you are part of the Vermont Maple Festival? I'm the secretary for the festival. The secretary. And today we have this, it's... Um, it's like a pinwheel? Yeah, maple pinwheel. My All grandmother right. used to make it when I was a little girl with the leftover pie crust she had after making pies. Sounds good. And it, it seems like a pretty simple recipe. Mm -hmm. You got the pie crust rolled out already and yeah. then endless amounts of butter. We do enjoy butter. And then what do we what do we do with it? How do we make this thing happen? You're spreading your butter around. Okay. Um, and then and then when you get it all spread around so it kind of evenly. Yeah. You're going to take a little bit of the um, maple sugar and sprinkle it on there all over oh. as evenly as you. I don't ever measure, I just kind of like guesstimate. Guesstimates, all right, that's, that's kind of how, that's kind of how I cook too. Okay, good, glad to hear it. Do the same thing over here. So just a nice even dusting over the whole thing. Mm -hmm. All right, tell us about the Maple Festival. I mean, I've, I've been, I think I go almost every year. I, I do go every year. <laughs> and. Uh, Tell us about it. Why should people come to the Maple Festival in St. Albans? It's a great way to learn how maple is, is made, to, to educate everyone. You can go around to all the different booths and, and things that we have, and, and it shows you how what it's all made, it's, to taste it, yeah. have fun, come and try the, the maple creamies and the maple cotton candy. The maple and donuts, and always the maple donuts. always my favorite. The maple donuts, I always take a box home when, when, when I go there. And I, you know, the Maple Festival for me, you know, I've been going for probably about seven years now, and it was the first time where I tasted a wide range of maple syrup all at once and really understood that maple has terroir, has differences in flavor, has, you know, different flavor profiles, and then grade B from this place tastes completely from, different from grade B from this place, that there is really so much more to maple syrup than just that it's sap from a tree that's boiled down. Absolutely, I've learned a lot just being the secretary, learned about the grain when they do all of the judging, yep. how the judges, it's been amazing to learn all of that and, and to get to understand the different flavors and you know the fancy and, and, and the medium amber and the dark amber and I, as I've been with it, I like that more maple flavor yeah, even you more. Do. You do. I want to stay, stay but, that. <laughs> but I do appreciate the fancy now. I okay. never did before that. Before <laughs> I was always a dark maple syrup person, but that festival really opened my eyes to that, you know, different grades of syrups at different times and different recipes allows you a whole world. And all the work that goes into putting that Oh on. my gosh. I, I was yeah. amazed. It's like magic, I say. It's magic. It's it all magic. It, all, it all always comes around. Oh, but it's a great event for the family. There's parade. There's, you know, endless amounts of food. There's just so much to do. It's a, it's a great time. So you have yes. to, you have to Be there. pick up your phone and call now and donate money. But then you have to go to the Maple Festival right after. Yes. All right. So what do so we do then, with this? And then we're going to roll it. Okay. Now that the lights here, my pie crust is getting nice and warm. It is a warm <laughs> pie crust. Make a little All right. log out of that. And then I've already sprayed my, my pan with, with some um, cooking spray so that it doesn't stick because okay. this is very sticky. Cut it about an inch um, or so, you know, it's kind of, and then you just kind of place them so that they look like little pinwheels on Yeah, there. so I mean, they almost kind of look like cinnamon rolls. Yes. That's great. Spray it quickly here. Same thing with this one here. Yeah, I'll cut this one. All right, you go ahead, because you're kind of, I'm kind of at an angle there. That's all right. I can place them while you're cutting. I'll place them too. And it's kind of like, and I found that if you put them too tightly together, they tend to not cook as well. So if you leave a little bit of space in between, because they kind of... Yeah, yeah, and then they can kind of kind of melt down, down too a yes. little bit too. Yeah. Great. Yeah. And so we put these in the oven. We've put a little bit of, put a maple syrup, pour the maple syrup. Okay. And who's your maple syrup from? It's, it's a Talcott family farm. Okay. Okay. That's good. That's good. Local okay. maple syrup. I mean, the, the maple industry has been, you know, such a strong industry in Vermont for you know, generations, and it, I, the heritage just keeps getting passed on. I mean, that's partly with the Maple Festival, it's partially with the Open House Weekend, but partially it's the tradition of what keeps Vermont great, and the food system that's so unique here, it's passing it on to generations time and time again. 
Absolutely. And I, they, they let me go with them to help collect sap. And ah, I'm not, that's good. Being the St. Albans girl that I am, not living in the country, <laughs> all that mud. Yeah. I was I'm, like, I'm I've never heard of St. Albans being considered like the big city. Well, you know, <laughs> just not like the country. You know. That's true. That's true. You know, so, and so then you fill your syrup about halfway around. Just pour it on there. So it gets about halfway around your dish. So if you put it more, it bubbles over. Okay. And I've been there. Okay. Is this, is this more for dessert or breakfast or both? You could do both. I've always used it for dessert. Okay. We always use it as dessert in our family right. growing up, but um, I will eat it for breakfast. There's some <laughs> leftover. Yeah, my I, I, will son eat, I will eat this for breakfast and then they make this my yes. breakfast dessert. Yeah, exactly. Good. Good. Exactly. All so right. now it's going to go into the magic oven. Okay. How long does it need to bake? It needs to bake about, it's at 350 for about 45 minutes or so. I okay. wait till it gets golden brown so okay. you can tell that when your crust is cooked. Yeah. So it depends on everybody's ovens, but usually my, it's 45 minutes and, okay. and it's done at 350. So. And for those who, don't necessarily want to make a homemade pie crust. You can buy pre-done pie crust, but yeah, homemade is always better, always tastes better. It takes a little bit more time, but delightful. In our magic oven here at the VPT Cook okay. Studios. That looks awesome. Let me see if I can, uh, you, can you know what? I'm not even gonna rustle up anything. I'm just gonna. You're gonna try it, here's a. All right, we'll just, we'll just try this up. So, I mean, the syrup now is really, really, really nice it can and become gooey, gooey. Yes, it does. Very, get very gooey. It's very sweet. Oh, wow. But that pie so crust, can you, can, you can feel it's so lightly and buttery and yummy. And, <laughs> mm. Very maple -y. Very maple -y. Holy <laughs> mackerel. <laughs> that, is, that is maple madness. That is how Absolutely. we do it. Gosh, that is really, really good. And... I can see how you would eat this for dessert because it is, it is really, really rich. You can cut it down a little bit if you want to put a little bit of vanilla ice cream with no. it for dessert, but I like no, it no, plain. No, 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 I like it Just plain. eat this the, the whole way, the way it is. That's fantastic. Great. So, hey, thank you for coming out today. Well, thank you for having me. And, and thank you folks for turning in to, to Maple Madness today. And just all these recipes are going to be in the cookbook today. With your, with your pledge that you call in and commit to us, you're going to get that gift pack, you're going to get the cookbook, you're going to get so many great things. And we just want to say thank you, and we will see you at the Maple Festival. Absolutely. I'll be in the office. You come and say hi. Excellent. We're going to send it back to the pledge set. Thank you so much for tuning in today.